Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dima Sniped. Welcome back to part three and how to make a beach house. So in part two, we finally finished up the outside and the exterior of the house. And so in part uh, three, this this part, we're gonna start working on the interior. So for the interior, uh, we're gonna use the, some birchwood planks for the floor. So basically, what you're gonna do is everything you see that's gonna be even with the doorways and the balconies. You're going to make them spruce wood planks for the floor because I think spruce wood planks would actually fit this house pretty nice when you get to the windows make sure you get underneath the windows with the spruce wood or excuse me birch wood planks I'm not used to saying birch wood planks just because I hardly ever use them and so let's make sure we get everything so this house could technically be three floors tall uh, just because it's tall it's kind of like risen up the first floor is like risen up off the uh, sea or off the ground it depends on where you make it so you could do a lot of things with it so you could make three floors if you wanted to but uh, I'm just gonna make it two and if you're making this on land what you could actually do is make a underground uh, what am I thinking a underground garage I think that would actually look pretty well So let's just fill this in. We're almost done. I'm actually liking this house a lot. Not gonna lie, I was kind of worried at first using gray with black, also using it with snow. Uh, but the colors really actually turned out to be pretty nice. So when you get to these windows right here, um, don't fill these in with the uh, birchwood planks just because it would actually show on the outside of the house. So if you get to a window that would uh, if you get rid of the gray wool to replace it underneath the glass panes with the birch wood If the birch wood is going to show on the outside of the house, don't do it uh, Keep the gray wool there or whatever material it is Alright, so we don't have too much more to do This weapon is kind of helping us out a little bit As a lot of you guys know, I'm kind of addicted to it Ah, oh, so much fun filling stuff in basically like making a second roof and just think we're gonna have to probably do it one more time probably not as much because it all depends on how we make the second floor because I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna make that yet I mean because there's several things we could do with it so I guess we we will see what we can do all right one more row to go after this one then we can actually start making the interior okay so now that we got that done, let's put some torches around the house to light it up just a little bit. Ooh, that lights it up a lot more. You're actually really going to want to light up this house just because since we're using gray wool and black wool together, uh, it will really make the house really dark during the night. So you really want to make sure you light up the house pretty well. Put some torches right here, right there, right here, right there, right there. Make sure we get some torches over here as well. Alright, so first off, let's get some doors. And put some doors around the house where the doors belong. Alright. Well, that should be black wool. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I'm kind of thinking that... Let's get rid of this real quick. It's going to bug me. I think that the living room should be somewhere over here the kitchen should be somewhere over here that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking so actually trying to make the TV will be kind of interesting in this part just because every material that I use for my TV and everything I've used for uh, the house so what we could do is we could use blue wool for the TV to kind of make it look like the TV is on uh, then for the speakers, we could use, uh, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to use for the speakers. Uh, I'm sure we can think of something. But let's make the TV right here. The TV's going to be four wide and two tall. Our sofas or couches, I think, we don't want to use sandstone because I would clash with the floor a little bit too much. I think brown wool would look pretty well or pretty good with the look of the house 
So let's make a smaller sofa right next to the window. Let's make one right over here, diagonal from it. Then we could make like a uh, little chair right here. Then we're gonna use sandstone slides for the cushions. How's that look? That looks pretty, pretty good in my opinion. Could be a lot worse. Uh, over here we can actually make a guest bedroom. So for the walls, let's continue with the theme of the house, and let's just use gray wool. We actually have a lot more room in the interior than I thought we would. So. I got rid of my swiftness. Why would I do that? Why would you do that? Okay, so... Uh... Let's make some stairs. So, we're gonna have some stairs. Uh... What should we use? Let's use stone brick stairs for the stairs. And the stairs are gonna be coming up to here. So we're gonna make the stairs too wide. Have them come all the way down. Let's put some gray wool here to cover up the actual stairs so they're not look like they're floating in the air. Ah, misplacing blocks left and right. Alright, we're gonna put gray wool just right here. Alright, so I think over here actually we're gonna just leave a lot of this open. Then over here is gonna be a bedroom. Then over here is going to be fully filled in. Alright, so let's make the kitchen area. Which is going to be... I don't know, should we make the kitchen area over here? Or should we make it over here? So many options. I kind of feel like we should make it over here. Just because there's a lot of room over here. So, for the counter, let's use... Uh... So many options. Let's use regular spruce wood and then regular snow. So we're going to make the kitchen right here. So we're going to have everything kind of over here. And then we can have it turn once you get to the window. So actually once we get to here we can turn it. And actually, never mind. Sorry, cuz I'm just trying to think what would, be, what would look better for you guys. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good. Uh, let's take out some gray... Actually, yeah, let's take out some gray wool again. And some stone slabs. What we're going to do is actually we're going to place some gray wool right here. Coming all the way around. And actually, if we do that, we're going to make it one shorter on this side. So we can actually make this work. Alright, now we can continue it all the way over to here. Now the spruce wood planks, or uh, just the regular spruce wood can go here. And what we're going to do is get rid of this torch, and then we're going to place the stone slabs here. And get rid of this to that torch as well. And just make it a little way in. Like right here. You may even place some slabs right there. So let's replace the floor in here. Because we don't want the floor being the same everywhere. So the kitchen is not going to be an extremely big kitchen, but it will be a decent amount of size. So let's use so many options. Let's use trying to think. We could use, I don't know, <laughs> let's use cyan wool for the floor, for the kitchen. Hit a little burp there. Soda will do that to you. Dr. Pepper is absolutely amazing. I love Dr. Pepper. Ah, misplacing blocks. Ah, oh, I'm upset with myself. My life's over. Alright, so that'll be our kitchen area. So let's take out some furnaces. A, a couple cauldrons, brewing stands, crafting bench. So we could place the furnaces like right here. Maybe add one more. There we go. Like that. 
We could add a little island in here. Because we have enough open room. And then let's put some snow here. Which we're actually going to deal with everything. Let's get rid of a lot of these torches. So our snow doesn't melt. Also, swiftness. Where'd my swiftness go? What the heck? Sorry for the darkness, guys. It will be fixed here in a minute. So on top of the spruce wood, we're going to place the snow. So it looks like a countertop. Place it here, there. Place it everywhere. Alright, now what we're going to do is get rid of the corner blocks of the cyan. So we can put some... Uh, what are they called? Glowstone. We also need gray wool, most likely. Just because a lot of this in here is... Open. I guess you could call it. So we will need the glowstone and some glass blocks. Get up, get up, there we go. Now the, the glass goes on top of it. Glowstone, glass, glowstone, glass. And then one more glowstone and glass. So that lights up the kitchen area pretty well. Let's add the cauldrons. We can add them right here. That looks pretty nice, in my opinion. A crafting table. We can put like two of them right here. And we can put the snow on top of them. Oh, that's not the snow. The snow can go on top of them again. Alright. So let's make sure we get underneath the cauldrons with the cyan to match the floor. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see. We could put some brewing stands, like right here. There we go. There's our kitchen area. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a dining room table. So we're going to need pistons, like usual. Redstone torches. So the table is going to go right here. So the table is going to be three wide. And then we're gonna make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks long. Alright, so let's take out some any material really just to fill up some space down here so we can put the redstone torches down. So we can actually make the pistons face up. Alright, so let's break a couple blocks we can get in here. And let's make a little wall, just because. Uh, get get down the hole. There we go. There we go. All right, now we can place the redstone torches down. And now we place the pistons facing up, so they are powered. All right, then we will need we will need stone brick slabs and then iron doors. So then we start on the end, and then every other block is where we place the chairs. On the end, we place them. And the iron doors go behind the slabs. So that's how it should look. So then we could change the uh, floor color around the table and around the chairs. So I'm not sure why we put the stairs down. Let's get rid of a lot of this. Probably should have thought of this before I put the chairs in, but everybody makes mistakes. So let's get rid of a lot of this. Ah, why am I getting rid of everything I need? Wow, look at all the the doors. Swiftness to get that back. Okay, so once we get rid of a lot of this birch wood. There we go. Now we're gonna use green wool to fill it in with what we got rid of for the carpet. Hopefully it will look pretty nice with the uh, scheme of the house. Or sheen. I'm not really trying to say that word. Is it scheme or sheen? 
Because it's like S H E M E, isn't it? Can you believe that's how you spell it? Let's call it a scheme. There we go. Now that we have the carpet, now we can add the doors. So now we can add the doors in. There we go. Again, I do know I'm not great at interior, guys. I'm, I definitely know I'm not the best at it. So over here, I'm not really sure what we could do. We can make this a closet area. So if we take out some gray wool, make this like a closet area. Uh, we can make like a little sitting area over here. Just for people to relax. So we take out some more brown wool and some stone slabs. We can put some like little talking areas over here. So place them here. Uh, let's place them. Let's see, which way should we place them? We can place them this way. Yeah, then you can play like little board games over here or anything like that. So let's take out some sandstone slides for the little centerpiece. And then this uh, stone slides for the cushions. And then what we could do is take out some bookshelves to decorate a little bit around, around here. Alright, there we go. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to fill in the second floor. And then in part four, we will start working on the second floor. Because we're already at 17 minutes. So for the second floor, we will need the birchwood planks as again. And then the birchwood planks are going to go even with the black wool. So that's one thing that the black wool really helps with is making second floor. So the second floor is going to be a little bit different than the first floor. We're not going to fill everything in. Once you get to this area right here, we're actually going to stop it and a lot of this area down here is going to be open. Just so you can look down there. Just to give it that little, a little bit more modern feeling I guess you could call it. Alright, so we're just going to fill everything else in now. Ah, I don't like misplacing blocks. It irritates me. It irritates me, guys. Okay. So above the kitchen, fill in with the birch wood planks. I'm not sure if I said spruce wood planks earlier. I probably did just because I'm so used to saying birch or er, spruce wood instead of birch wood. So let's fill these in. So we're almost done with the actual house itself. Hopefully you guys are really liking the house. Like I said, this is actually one of my favorite houses that I've made in a long time. It, look, it actually looks more like a, a vacation home or relaxing home. Because there are a lot of balconies to it. It will give, a, give the house that. I think there's maybe like three or four balconies, if not more than that. Alright, so let's add some gray wool right here for a little railing for the stairs. Birchwood planks again. Let's cover up all this. Ah, damn it. So we're almost done with part three. Alright, so part three is done. So again, in part four, we will finish up the house, hopefully. Uh, let's take out some... Uh, we can easily either use glass paint for this or fences. Doesn't really matter what you use. Make a little railing here. Then we could just make this gray wool or even black wool to match everything else. So if we take out some black wool... It would come from side to side. That looks pretty good in my opinion. Alright, so this is the house so far on the first floor. And here's a little closet area. So thanks for watching guys. Please rate and subscribe. Stay tuned in for part 4. And then part 4, like I said, we're going to finish the house. So thanks for watching guys. Please rate and subscribe.